hi everyone welcome to my channel so officially um campaign has um kick off today so this is um peter will be in jaws today with um his vice yusuf wow you can see crowd you know they used to say that um peter will be um do not have um, any structure like look at the structure a lot of people love p2b already so uh why i'm doing this video is like campaign has started today if you know the little you can do for the betterment of nigeria this is the time for you to do so it doesn't matter if you are in nigeria if you are in nigeria or you are in abroad like um people in abroad you still have something to do you can just educate um your people at home tell them um do not force them to vote vote um, a particular person but you need to just explain to them why they should vote for p2b for the betterment of nigeria for you know for for the for, for the betterment of the future of little babies unborn babies future generations of nigeria if you, if as you can see a lot of people used to think that is because of tribe or um Igbos who go and vote fit to be robust go and vote to but it's not like that as you can see even p2b has been going from one state to another yesterday he visited only of if any leaf he went to the palace you know to visit the monarch he has been going to so many places in nigeria and he, he will always tell you that you should not vote for him because he's an evil man or because you uh, because you should vote for him for um for the betterment of nigeria for you know for a lot of we have a lot of reason to vote for p2b but we should not think about tribe or this one you like him or is your brother or no vote for p2b because he's um the right person right now um we have apart from all the people that are coming out for election right now you we already know what um apc has done to nigeria like buhari's regime is the worst um regime ever nigeria has faced like the if poverty in nigeria was 30 percent before now i think it's like 70 percent this thing i'm talking about is no longer about the rich and the poor this thing has touched everybody so this is the time for us to decide to make nigeria better the little you can do is just to tell your people that if they want to vote for p2b is where they draw papa mama and Pekin. you know with that um they will know who to vote we all know that all their flag uh, their flag uh, like PDP, APC, um, Labour Party, their flag is the same color. So the only thing that differentiates P2B's own is it has Papa, Mama, and Pekin. So you can start from there. Though even you're not in Nigeria, you still have a lot to do. You have people at home, you have families, you have friends. You can do one or two things. But the major thing is P2B you know they give shishi. We are not giving money for people to vote. We are just trying to educate people to vote. So this is the little I can do. And I believe that once in a while, um, since this campaign has started, I'll be posting my normal videos and I'll still be posting um about um how the campaign is going like me i want to travel to nigeria i want to go to nigeria but right now insecurity is so bad that people that plan to go to nigeria i know and um, people have been going and coming back but you won't know what you face when you get there especially um people that are in the southeast so man is is really really heartbreaking what is happening in nigeria even um in in part of Yoruba land now, the Fulanese are inside the bush. So a lot of things are happening that we need to sit back and think that who is the right person for us? Who will be this person? It's not as if Peter B will come and do everything. No, he would. is just a gradual something. But we believe so much in him that he's going to, you know, do better than or other candidates. When he was governor in Anambara State. He he turned um the education system of Anambara. 
he did a lot of things for Anambara. Like, he transformed Anambara. He's the only governor that left office with... He left um, the office and left a huge amount of money in Anambara state government post. Something that has never happened in Nigeria before. In fact, the people are leaving office will take the word that is there and still borrow. But Pito B did not borrow. Instead, he left a huge amount of money for Anambara state. So all these things. And one thing I love about him, when he tells you something, he will tell you to go and verify. You know, Pito B is not coming there to loot. He's not coming there for money. Pito B does not have any godfather. Pito B is not a gift sheshe. If you know Peter B very well, like if even if you don't know him, you've read about him, you've heard him talk, you know that yes, this is the right man for now for Nigeria. Among all the people that are coming out for election, Peter B is number one. So I just let me quickly do this video and remind you guys that there is still little you can do, even if you cannot vote because of where you are. You can still um, educate people at home. You can still tell people at home not to allow themselves to be, you know, to be enticed with money. Because now that um, campaign has started, you see them, they will start going to rural areas. Started, they will start sharing money, sharing rice, beans, all those small, small things that you just eat it and shit it out and your problem will continue. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything I said on this video you don't like, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to hurt or talk down on anybody.